my gosh, you guys keep falling. All right, welcome back to Vlogmas. Day 10, we're already in double digits of Vlogmas videos. That is literally insane. Um, okay, day 10, I'm trying to find it on here. I don't see it, I don't see it. Where is it? Did I open it already? Huh. Did I open it? Hmm. Oh, it's right in front of my face. Huh. I didn't see it. Day 10. Boop. I think it's like kind of a, like a beanie or a hat. All right. I'm not going to eat that right now. I don't want to. Um, so this video is the 10th video. Thank you guys so much for the support and the love last few videos um there is more videos coming up and you guys want to stay tuned because there's fun videos coming there's a fun video tomorrow there's a fun video the next few days so stay tuned and i hope you guys enjoy this video the most famous reindeer of all Charles. rudolph the red nosed reindeer this is an assumption about me video um there was a few people who wrote assumptions about me and i'm gonna be responding to those assumptions and be explaining them a little bit because some of them are like really good assumptions that i need to like really explain there's some of them that are like why did you like talk why did you put this down the first assumption is you only work because you don't want to hang out with your friends that is false i don't only, i work because i'm a, i have stuff to pay for like an apartment like a phone like my car i have to pay for that for school i'm saving up for a car um, for a new car. It's not that I don't want to hang out with my friends. It's also because, um, I can work and get money and save money and, and I can plan a trip with them or I can go do something with them without, like, them paying for it and I can pay myself. I'll be like, hey, I'll, like, let's go out to eat because I have, like, extra 30 bucks to spend so let's go somewhere it's not that i don't want to hang out with my friends i love my friends and they love me and they know that i work so hard because i'm paying for things myself like an adult should do like someone who is my age should be doing so yeah that's the first assumption i my best friends who are watching this, I work because I want to hang out with you. And I'm trying to get money so I can hang out with you. And I can have a good time and day with you. And we can go blow our money on, on like, the mall or something. But I'm working because I have stuff to pay for. Yeah. The next assumption is you are a good older sister. I try to be a good older sister I know that there's some things that I mess up on and that I make mistakes on but I try to be an older sister or a good older sister and be there for my siblings whenever um they need me so I try that's a quick assumption but yeah, I try to be a good older sister. The next assumption is you look nice, but you're actually mean to people around you. I am not mean to people around me. You can ask my friends, you can ask my family. I'm not mean to people around me. I am too nice. I am so nice to people. I'm like, okay, it's all right. If someone's like, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry like that thinking I'm gonna be mad I'm like it's all right you're good like you're fine I'm not mean to people around me because I wouldn't want them to be mean to me so I'm not really mean only when I don't get sleep I will be mean 
if I don't get sleep and or if I don't get sleep or if I'm tired those are the only two reasons why I should be mean but I'm not mean you can ask a bunch of my friends um the next assumption is you love waking up early no I do not I hate waking up early and I know hate's a strong word but I truly mean that word because I don't like waking up early I love sleeping in this hell like 9, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock sometimes, and just sleeping in because, yes, my day starts later because I wake up later, but, yeah, if I am awake more, I can get more stuff done during the day, and I can be more productive, but if I'm, like, tired and, like, falling asleep, I'm like, you know what, I'm not going to do this today. Um, I'll do this another day. Who cares about this today? I'm just going to lay in my bed today. I'm just going to watch Netflix and YouTube and Hulu and Disney Plus all day. Like, who? I die. And I do wake up early for work and I hate it because I don't like waking up early. And I'm always tired in the morning because I do go to bed late, not on purpose. It's more like... I go to bed late because I'm watching shows and I forget what time it is at night because I'm watching shows on Netflix and okay, I thought, and the, or there's some nights where I'm doing homework. So I'm like, yeah, I'm going to do homework. I'm going to do homework. Like, that's fine. That's like that, but it's not like that. So yeah, the next assumption is your last name is actually Noel. It's not Noel, and some of you guys know my last name because my friends, my family watches this channel. My last name is not Noel. Rachel Noel is my YouTube channel name, but Noel is my middle name. I'm not going to share my last name. I'm not. Um, yeah, but I'm not going to share my last name because... In order, not only for my sake, but for the rest of my family who has a last name or who has the same last name as me. Because most of my family does have the same last name. And that's fine for them, but there's some of us who has the same last name. So, in respect for them, I don't use my last name on anything. On social media, on YouTube, anything. I use my first and middle name. Even when I do, like, orders, like, when I order food for somewhere and I go and pick it up, I use my middle name as my last name just because it's, like, I don't really want to use my last name. And so, yeah, I don't really, yeah, so my last name is out there. I do know my last name. You guys will never know, so. Or you'll know eventually. Or you'll know eventually, which means, um, you'll know eventually means that you'll know, like, but it's not going to happen now. It's not going to happen soon. It may be, like, years and years and years and years and years, but yeah. The next assumption is you don't know what you, your career is when you get older. I had a rough time figuring out what I wanted to do in high school. Everyone asked me and I'm like, I don't know. I'm just here just to be here. And I got that question a lot. Like, oh, what do you want to be like when you grow up? Like, or when you graduate high school as a senior? And I'm like... I don't know yet. It, it took me forever to figure out my career. And I changed it a lot. Like, there is, I wanted to be a teacher. And then I wanted to be a dentist. And then I wanted to be a cook. And there was one day 
where I just didn't want to be anything. I was like, okay, whatever. Like, but I figured it out. I am going to be in film production, like filming TV shows and movies. That's what I want to do. And it's so amazing. And that's the whole reason why I do YouTube videos, because it's kind of like practice of filming my own, you like filming my own show, because this is technically the Rachel show, the Rachel show. And it like gives me practice. So I think it's a plus and I think it's going pretty good right now. My career took me forever because I was like, I don't know. And I was like trying to decide it and I needed to figure it out. I did not like figure it out until like the summer after I graduated because everyone was still asking me, you need to take classes for based off your career that you want. I don't know my career. Oh, well, you, you should know. Okay, no, I, yeah. So I figured it out and I like this career and yeah. So hopefully I'll be a film producer filming TV shows and movies. I feel like it would be amazing to do. You're the next assumption is you're actually a person who cares for others. I care for others around me. If I see someone having a hard time, I go and I give them attention and I ask them what's up and I like that. That's actually how I met some of my friends because I care for them and I walk up to them. I'm like, hey, I'm Rachel. What's your name? And I kind of, I care for my friends and I care for everything and every one. Um, so, yeah, I do care for others and I care for you guys too. So, yeah. The next assumption is you work hard at work. I try. I try my best to do that. I, there's some days where I do struggle a little bit to get things done. And there's some days where you walk in and there, it's like, wow, like amazing. But there's, I have those days. I have those days where I don't work as hard as I should. And it's okay. You know what? It's okay. It's a learning, it's a learning thing. It's learning from the mistakes and things like that. But I try. The next assumption is you hate your siblings. I am sorry, but I don't hate my siblings. Again, hate's a strong word. I do not hate my siblings. They could be annoying and obnoxious and drive me insane, but I don't hate them. You guys might be like, what about if they make a big mistake or did something bad to where I thought, yes, I will be mad at my siblings for certain little things, but I will never hate my siblings ever. Like, I feel like hating your sibling is like hating your family or your hating your mom and your dad and things like that. And I don't hate my siblings. I love all my siblings. They do drive me insane and that's okay. I like that, but I don't hate them. I love all my siblings and I love their every single personality that they have. Every single sibling has different personalities and different interests and it's so amazing. I don't hate my siblings. The last assumption is you are bad at making friends. I wouldn't say I'm bad at making friends. I would say that I'm more cautious about who I'm friends with. For example, if you come up to me and I don't know you and you want to be friends, I will take that into consideration, but I won't be friends with you right immediately. I will warm up to you and I will like be closed off and like I have to trust you before you become my friend. I have to trust you. You have to trust me. You have to trust my friends. They have to trust you. If I don't trust you, then you're not getting any closer to being friends with me. I'm sorry, but you're not. Uh, like, I, I am so, I love my friends. And my friends would be there for me. Like, 
for anything. And I would be there for them for anything. And that's what I need a friend for. I'm not going to be your friend just because you just want to be friends. Or because you just want to just use me to get closer to my friends so you can expose us or talk crap or talk crap about us or anything like that like that's why I'm so like closed off to to other people I share everything to my friends but then when it comes to other people I'm like nope not saying a word not saying anything to you I don't trust you I don't trust you I don't trust you because I don't because I have to fully trust you and I have to fully know who you are as a person and if you're gonna trust me or if I'm gonna trust you with things you have to trust me with things so yeah which means like everything like secrets family stuff like there's some like of my friends who's been there since I've like gotten bullied or had a hard time at school or at work and they're there for me so I would do the same thing and so I'm not really bad at making friends it's just like it's just like I'm closed off and I'm more um judge uh, I'm not bad at making friends more like I am more cautious about who I'm friends with or who I want to be friends with all right so thank you guys so much for watching today's video if you like to give it a big thumbs up comment below what kinds of videos you want me to do even if it's this month or next month or in the new year let me know i will consider doing your guys's suggestions follow the youtube instagram it'll be on the screen in the description below please stay safe please stay healthy it's almost christmas so have fun have a good holidays if you're going christmas shopping or like having christmas parties have fun and i'll see you guys in tomorrow's video bye guys